The first element is that it is important for you to identify your comfort zone. Comfort zone here is where we are comfortable. And you cannot be a winner, you cannot be a high performer if you don't go out of your comfort zone. So that's number one. So it is important to identify and to quickly quit that comfort zone. The second element is to ask yourself what gives meaning and purpose to your life. I have been saying this in many of the programs that I've had with you, Kingsley. In leadership, the question is more important than the answer. Because some people are just like robots. Okay, new year, okay, people are saying happy new, new year, fashion. new fashion. No, we should be very, very careful. We are not just a, a robot. We are human beings with thinking. So you need to ask yourself questions. What gives meaning and purpose to my life in 2023? What is it all about? What is the thing that I'm ready to die for? What are the things that will make me get up in the morning despite the fact that things are tough? The third element is to evaluate the price to pay. No, because there is a cost. <laughs> now, when I say the price to pay, maybe it's in terms of competency. Then it means I, I need maybe new competency, maybe in digital, in, I don't know. But there must be new competencies that I need. What are those competen competencies? Maybe I need also to work on my emotional uh, well-being. Maybe emotionally, I'm very weak. Maybe mentally, I'm very weak. Maybe spiritually. So again, what is the price to pay so that you get ready to do the investment? The other element that is very powerful are the area of improvement. Because as human beings, we are not perfect. Perfection is in the order of God. So we are all agreed. But excellence is at the reach of human beings. Now, what are the room of improvement? What are the things that you think you should work hard to improve? It means that you know yourself. The other element is you need to associate yourself with the winners. Who are your role model? Show me your friends and I will tell who you are. So it is important to, to, to look because we don't choose our colleagues. We don't choose our brothers and sisters. We will choose our friends. And it is important for you to identify who is a winner or a high performer person that you know. It might be in your company or out of your company. Today with social media, you can reach. And those who are high performers are great and humble people. And it is also important here to avoid what I've called in my first book, The Impact of One, the ABC Syndrome. Mm. We should stop accusing others why we are not making it in life. We should stop blaming others why we are not performing. We should stop complaining. So if you kill the ABC Syndrome, then now you have the last element that is something that uh, we neglect, we, we, we have tendency not to take seriously. It's about celebrating small success. You know, I'm happy when I, we, we, we met in the studio, Happy New Year, how was the year? I was telling you that sometimes life is, life is not fair. We have frustration, we have disappointment, but you know what? We should keep that smile and we should keep the show moving. And for that, we should also be grateful for even being alive. So by celebrating little successes, you will see that you can tomorrow, by the end of 2023, count yourself about among the winners or the high performers.